Hello there guys and welcome yet to another After Effects tutorial. My name of course is Carlo and you are watching Film It VFX Studios. So today we're going to be creating the Superman opening credits which is very very cool. Uh, it's not only creating this one, this is part of a new series uh, on the channel. We're going to be trying to create over the next few weeks some of the most iconic opening credits and opening film sequences ever seen so very very excited about that superman one of the most iconic opening credits ever to hit cinema in my opinion and there's going to be quite a few of these opening title tutorials coming to the channel in the next few weeks including a tribute to the amazing john hurt that sadly passed away a few days ago we're going to be recreating some of the titles from his most iconic movies that John's ever done so not giving too much away but yeah so it's gonna be absolutely amazing the only thing is when we're creating these sort of effects or opening titles effects shall I say it's always good to have the original score uh, planned along when you're showing an example but unfortunately due to YouTube rules we're prohibited that but you know what a little bit wouldn't hurt so yeah let's basically get cracking so this is what we're, we're gonna be creating today the Superman title so it's very very easy to do guys very very easy uh, so let's get cracking so I'm going to start a new composition I'm going to call it Superman okay title it anything you want 1920 by 1080 29 frames per second 10 seconds long click OK and the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a new uh, bit of text um, I'm using Arial Black regular so it's entirely up to you what you use so i'm going to put my caps on and i'm just going to type in superman and i'm doing my caps and i'm just going to simply uh put that into position if you uh recreate the setup i've got here so make sure you're outside in blue and fill it caps uh to activate so keep your white there so you've got this nice uh blue uh, outline to the uh, logo um, so that's very good very cool now your pixels should start off at five um, I'm gonna keep keep them at five for now uh, just to show you uh, what it looks like when we keep the caps or sorry your pixels to five so yeah very very cool so we're gonna make that Superman logo a 3d layer and we're simply gonna get the Z axis and we're just gonna push it back in Z space um, this is for animation it's entirely up to you guys how you animate this title so you can bring it coming in from the top from the side it's entirely up to you but for the sake of this tutorial I literally am just gonna keep it uh, like this and just basically uh, zoom in so I'm gonna slip Superman hit P on the keyboard uh, hit uh, my stopwatch to create position it's gonna move it about 20 frames forward and then um, I'm basically gonna bring it in if it's a bit slow just hold shift and I'm just going to keep going until I'm basically off the screen like so uh, let's just have a look at that let's just undo that made a mistake there so let's try again guys so um, I'm just going to basically uh, bring it all the way out until my about to go off the screen and I'm just gonna let go and then we've got this nice animation uh, of the Superman sort of flying off the screen that's entirely up to you you can make it longer shorter it's entirely up to you uh, how you want to do it it's entirely up to you how you want your how you want to perceive shall I say your uh, animation for your Superman logo okay <clears throat> so now we're gonna basically close this click on our Superman and control D uh, to duplicate that layer and we're just going to focus on the top layer so we're basically simply going to add an effect so we're going to go to effect 
we're going to go to time and we're going to go to echo and as you can see there if we go forward it's sort of highlighted um, the original Superman logo but there's some uh, pieces of it that don't the geometry don't sit right so we're gonna basically fit fix that now so um, I'm simply gonna change the echo time to 0 0.05 and that is basically gonna sync up our logo because the bottom part is what this part here is what is gonna give us the swoosh uh, effect I'm gonna set all these to 0 0 and not for this one and I'm just gonna go to a part where I want my swoosh to start so maybe uh, about there so I want to hit the uh, stopwatch on all three of these and then I am gonna put the amount of echoes to one two five now this will change through the starting density is 0 0.94 and this one to 0 0.99 and I want to add and I want to fix blend now this will have to render out and you're going to see what happens uh, once that is done so we've got the swoosh now going back to what I said as you can see it's really really blown out that's due to the pixels so if we change that back to 2 um, it's going to fix that uh, problem for us for us shall I say so we get that nice sort of uh, swoosh uh, effect uh, going on uh, here so let's um, make some changes to this so let's just go out a bit okay um, sorry about this my computer is lagging at the moment I don't know why let's change the pixels to one for now because um, that is looking quite uh, blown out at the moment that don't look too bad but if you see look carefully we've got some really bad um, lineage here so we're going to add another effect so I'm going to go to uh, effects we're going to go blur and sharpen and we're going to go CC fast blur and I'm going to change that to darkest and I'm just only going to put the amount to one right so and maybe a bit higher actually let's go to two on that and that's going to eradicate um, the bad uh, lining so we might need to raise that a bit more for this okay so that's looking a little bit better uh, let's put the pixels up to two like so and once rendered this should look pretty 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 cool so this is uh, CPU intensive guys uh, do remember that uh, when you're using the uh, blurs and stuff like that let's put that back to one we didn't need to do that um, and let's make sure that this little icon here which is our motion blur is activated within um, our top layer so let that render through it's quite intensive this eco or echo uh, effect um, so as you can see we've got some results here already so if I just switch this uh, bottom layer off uh, let's just stick it to half res for now um, we've, we're, we're getting some really really sort of nice results uh, already so as it comes forward as you can see we've got a really nice uh, Superman uh, blur going on we may need to play around with this uh, a bit more as you can see we've got some still got some lines so let's just punch that up a little bit more just make sure that blow amount is uh, let's go back to normal okay so let's push this to two okay so what we're going to do is we're going to change this to 0.1 that's just too much and let that ram through so that is not too bad so I'm trying to get hold of me on Facebook always the way and let's put our pixel density to 0.10 it's just about playing around with the the way it looks okay 
very important. Don't know what's going on with my computer today. Let's go to one. See, that's looking a little bit better. Let's push the blow amount to one. That's not too bad. Let's uh, change, yeah, let's uh, keep that as it is. So let's change this, because this ain't right, 0 0.99. Let's go 0 0.94 for the decay. Let's try that. Yep, yeah, and there you go, that's a hell of a lot better. It's looking a lot good as well. So let's push the uh, amount to two, blow to two. And it's just to eradicate the uh, the excess uh, lineage, shall we say. Now, let's uh, fix that because something came right here. Let's go to uh, 120 on the echoes. Let's go to 100. It's all about playing with it. All right, guys, because all text, when you're doing this uh, technique, all text is different. So for some reason, the echo is never always the same. So let's go one, two, five. And just keep it at that. And let's just bring the pixel density to two. Just shine it off a bit. So that looks bit better and let's bring this up to three blow amount okay let's push the decay to 0 0.93 and then you'll know when you'll get it because it'll be pretty decent okay that's not too bad it's not looking too bad at all um, looking pretty pretty sweet um, this brightness is because the pixels are too high yeah so if we put that pixel down to 1.5 try that we should get a better result from that okay maybe one that's looking a little bit better so there you have it it's pretty pretty straightforward guys and you could literally animate this uh, basically how you see fit so if we bring this forward, let's play around with this. Let's go with 0 0.95 on that. We'll start in intensity. It's pretty hard, because I've got dual displays, it's pretty hard to see, but on the other display, full screen, it looks absolutely amazing. It looks like what we've just, uh, what I've just showed you. Um, obviously, it's a case of uh, a bit of grading. Uh, do a bit of grading on it, uh, so on and so on. But then once you're done, uh, should look absolutely uh, incredible. So that is it, guys. Now for the uh, stars, I've just basically, if I go to file, import file, um, I've just got the star background that I've just dropped uh, in the background, shall I say. And I'll just basically show you what I did there. So just hit S on the keyboard and I'll scale that right up. So past the, the screen, as you can see here, um, I'll show you. And then all I did was uh, I hit it, P on the keyboard, went back to the start of the video, uh, created a position, um, moved it sort of like just before it goes off the screen. Like so. And then basically I just uh, S on the keyboard again. And let's put it back to 100. And that's basically all I did. Didn't hit the stopwatch. And let's just scale it up. What's going on with my computer today, guys? I do apologise about this lagginess. Mind you, this has been on for quite some time. Oh. No, we don't want to do that. Let's just scale that up. So about that, guys. Let's go uh, scale it off the screen, all right? Go back to the start. Uh, 
hit the uh, stopwatch for scale go to the scene where it flies off find that bit and then just basically get it and just scale it back down until it meets um, the side of the video just go down here that create another keyframe and then what you'll have is the stars uh, moving in the background as uh, the Superman logo goes past so that is it guys that is how you create a Superman logo in After Effects with no third party plugins. Obviously it's a case of just playing around with this stuff guys um, until you get the look uh, that you're after. Um, I always sort of play around with it sort of non-stop so 0 0.1 or whatever and just play around with the uh, the, the, the pixels, uh, play around with uh, the way you want the uh, actual effect to look. Let's just turn that back on. Um, and how you want to sort of uh, get the best sort of results uh, for this. Let's go put this to two and sort of clean it up even more. Remember to turn on motion blur and that's basically it guys. That is how you create your little uh, Superman logo or Superman opening titles uh, in After Effects. So if you have uh, enjoyed this quick video uh, a like rating would definitely be appreciated guys and as always I will definitely see you in the next tutorial which is going to be another exciting um, title sequence for another popular film I'm not going to say too much because um, I want you guys to be excited about it and look forward to it as much as I'm looking forward to creating a video for you so as always guys thank you for listening and I'll definitely catch you in the next video Ciao, ciao.